So I came to the United States looking for education. I wanted to learn English. Uh, I was studying computer programming and English was important at that time. All the textbooks, all the materials, everything was in English. So I had an uncle that lived in Hermiston at that time and worked at a Mexican restaurant. So I called him up and said, can I go and visit you for about a year so I can learn English and go back and uh, continue with my career. He agreed to that. So at that time I moved to Hermiston and studied in Hermiston High, working at nights and weekends at the restaurant. I started working as a dishwasher, worked my way up to started waiting tables where I knew I can practice my English the most. When the year came up and I was getting ready to go back to Mexico, my uncle said, I'm gonna start my own restaurant. At that time, everybody wanted to move to a big city, so most of the people that we knew started restaurants in Portland, Salem, and cities like that. He said, there is this place called Primeville. It's a small town, but we're gonna do good. So at that time, it was my time to make a decision to go back to Mexico or to help him out. He helped me, so I said, I'll stay, I'll help you out. So we moved to Primeville with very little money, but with a big dream. We had a lot of support from family and friends to help us get that, that business started. Uh, like most entrepreneurs, we ran out of money before we could open the doors. We were still waiting for some equipment. So I remember the last week before we were getting ready to open, we ended up working days and nights, taking naps under tables, and just to get it ready. Once we got it open, it was a success. We got really busy. And a few months later, he said, this was good. Well, let's open another one. Well, small towns are good. So about John Day. Yeah. For those who don't know John Day, John Day is small, very small. So I moved to John Day. After about five or six months, we said, okay, no, that's too small. We closed that restaurant, we moved to Ben. We started another restaurant in Ben, and it was very successful. We did really good in that restaurant, and we were able to hire a lot of people and, and keep um, a good business in there. In my eyes, that was achieving the American dream. I was able to have a good job and, uh, and work and everything. So I was thankful for all the opportunities that I got in this country, and I wanted to do something to give back. And thinking about that, I decided I'm gonna join the military. So I remember going up to my uncle and saying, I'm gonna join the military. He looked at me and he said, well, if that's what you want to do, we'll support you, we'll be waiting for you, and do what you want to do. So I joined the military. About three years later, my last deployment was Enduring Freedom. At that time, my son was about two years old, my daughter's seven months old. And it's really hard to look at their face and say, I'll be back in a year. And But, that, but you know that when you join and, and you train for that. So. It's something that you expected, but it, it's, it's tough. Uh, that mission was changed thanks to Turkey. So for that reason, my deployment was short, came back in six months. My contract expired and I said, okay, I'm done with the military. I served my time, got honorable discharge, and I went back to the restaurant business. But during that time, it made me realize what it is like to be fighting for this country, to be in the front line, willing to give your life for this country. And I made a choice at that time, my choice to become a US citizen. I didn't have to, I could have stayed as a permanent resident for the rest of my life and be a legal resident in the United States. But I made the choice to become a US citizen. Just like everyone in here is making the choice. You're a US citizen by choice, and that's the difference. It doesn't mean that you have to give up your all your traditions, all, all your uh, culture, treasure that. Pass it down to the next generation. Teach your kids. But you make that choice, and with that choice comes a lot of privileges and responsibilities. Now, you're part of the community. Get involved with the community. Make your community a better community. Now you can vote. Go out and vote. And let's all work together to make this country a great country. 
and let's continue to make it the greatest country of the world. Thank you.